Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite YouTuber who makes you just feel like Batman. Gardner, the Linux Gamer. So, if you're new to the channel, you might not know what we do at the beginning and the end of the year. Uh, so, at the end of the year, what I like to do is look back at the beginning of the year, when uh, I, made a, uh, I made predictions about what I thought was going to happen in the world of Linux and tech. Um, I take these very seriously. Uh, I, I go in, uh, you know, trying my hardest to be sincere and coming up with real predictions that I think will actually happen. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I don't do any of that. I, I, I make silly, fun, jokey uh, uh, predictions because that's just how I am. I'm a, I'm a silly, fun, jokey guy. So uh, this is 2018's Tech News Bingo, actually. Uh, this is what I did at the beginning of the year. And uh, I was actually really, really excited to, uh, to do this. Uh, we're going to like go through here and see if I get a bingo. Or if I even got five correct, which I don't think I did. <laughs> uh, the first one on the list is Elon Musk debuts a new Tesla vehicle. Instead of brake and accelerator pedals, the floor of the vehicle is a treadmill. People call Musk a genius when he really just copied the Flintstones. Okay, that's, that's kind of a half-decent uh, joke. I don't know, did, did Tesla reveal a, a new vehicle? I don't even, I didn't even check these. I should have checked these before I, uh, October 28th. Holy crap. Well, would you look at that? They revealed, uh, the new Tesla Roadster. Cool. That's one point. It looks like. Let's go here and uh, check that off. All right. Next up, uh, is the price of Bitcoin. The price of Bitcoin will reach an unprecedented $140,000 per coin. The cost of a single Bitcoin transaction will be around $139,999. Uh, I didn't get the numbers of those correct, but uh, I did get the ratio correct between, uh, the cost of a Bitcoin transaction and, and, and the cost of a Bitcoin. So, uh, I'll give myself that one. There's another point. I need all the help I can get. Uh, Linux reaches 6% market share according to browser user, user agent rankings. Uh, that didn't happen, but let's see what the, the punchline is. Grumpy Linux users everywhere mutter something about how market share doesn't matter. I can't in good conscience give myself uh, a point for that one. That's no. <laughs> Disney announces plans to acquire Canonical. The Ubuntu movie is released to theaters starring Seth Rogen as an anthropomorphized Ubuntu logo becomes part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, sadly, somehow that didn't happen. I thought that, that was like a, a, a for sure, you know, absolutely no doubt going to happen. Uh, next up, we have System 76's Pop! OS sees major adoption. No joke here. I'd just like to see them succeed. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go to Distro Watch. Let's find out. Yeah, they're, they're not even at the top. Well, here's the 2019 System76. Uh, kernel developers patch a half-decade-old exploit found in the kernel. Said exploit mysteriously appeared in a commit by an unknown developer and seems intentional. It was merged because it didn't break user space. I don't know if any of the bugs in the kernel were, that were fixed this year were half a decade old, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to give myself a point for that one. <laughs> Apple announces they plan to artificially brick, I mean, uh, retire all iPhone 6 era devices will unbrick them for $199. I feel like that happened, didn't it? Their customers applaud the move as courageous and justify the plan as protecting both consumers and the environment. I don't know. Should I give myself a point for that one? <laughs> I don't think I'd get a point for that one. I, I don't. Net neutrality continues to make headlines as Verizon and Comcast push for greater control over what you see online. Verizon starts to unlock websites with loot boxes that cost $2.94 uh, a piece. Each loot box unlocks a single random website. That seems like something Valve would do, actually. Um, yeah, they didn't end up doing that, but uh, dang, that's genius. Egypt Pie, get on that. <laughs> uh, Microsoft pushes a Windows 10 update disabling EXEs and MSI files uh, to all users. 
Microsoft will hold a ransom of $9.95 in order to install software outside the Windows Store. That's not happening this year. That's happening next year. That that one's going to get grandfathered into predictions for next year. YouTube demonetization issues continue to worsen. YouTube discriminates against false content because advertisers are scared of the word free. Um, I actually got more videos demonetized in 2018 than I did in 2017. Uh, so I'm going to say, yeah, definitely. Ah, oh, frickin' A. The monetization stuff on YouTube is just garbage. YouTube is just garbage. If you're watching this on LBRY, hello. A game on Steam will be discovered to contain software that acts suspiciously like spyware. Valve won't take action until it starts to hurt their bottom line. Fans of the game defend the inclusion of the spyware and end up swatting people critical of the developer. Uh, I don't think that happened this year. Uh, sadly, I don't think I get a point for that. <laughs> Facebook will acquire Twitter for $1 billion. Suddenly, even less of your Twitter feed is relevant to your interests. No point on that one. No point. Oh, the free space. Steam continues getting worse. Steam Direct continues to pollute the storefront with filth and bile. Valve keeps making money and don't care at all. Uh, you know, free space. Fair enough. Uh, at this point, it's not looking good for a bingo, though. <laughs> Security researchers find dangerous uh, Intel management engine bug. NSA leaks reveal it's not a bug. It's a feature. Some of these are just god-awful punchlines. No point. Gardner finds a stable release of Caden Live and doesn't upgrade it for the rest of the year. <laughs> this isn't so much a prediction as it is a hope blinding me to reality. I didn't find a stable release of Caden Live. <laughs> uh, yeah, Manjaro uh, really helped with not finding uh, a stable release of Caden Live. Uh, actually, Manjaro was kind of worse with uh, stability. Anyway, no point. A leaked internal memo from a large tech firm outs the existence of a clandestine Silicon Valley fraternity and many of its members. Fraternity? More like satanic sex cult. It's called the Glass Ceiling. Members include Grand Nagus Bezos, Liquidator Sean Rad, and Damon Kalanick. Kalanick? Who's Kalanick? Oh, right. Yes. That's a, that's a Star Trek joke right there. Uh, no points for that one. Yeah, that might be grandfathered into 2019, too. Hardware enthusiasts get more than they bargained for as they upgrade to NVIDIA's latest, latest GPU. A defect in the GPU's manufacturing process burns in a permanent, faint image of what looks like a naked man into the frame buffer. Well, I can't say that uh, RTX is a, is a naked man burnt into the frame buffer. And uh, I can't give myself a point in good conscience because... Uh, NVIDIA, people who upgraded to NVIDIA cards this year really got less than they bargained for, I think. No point. A large bank starts to uh, admonish against the use of their credit cards after a massive data breach. They recommend using cash instead. Unfortunately, the bank refuses to let people withdraw their money and begins issuing their own cryptocurrency in its place. Their stock prices soar. Um... I can't believe that didn't happen this year. That seemed that seemed like something that was like right dead on the money. <laughs> Dang, I, I'm, it's not looking good. I don't think I got a bingo, guys. An AI makes headlines as it's trained using publicly available Facebook data. After gaining sentience, the only answer it gives when asked a question are "What about isms?" links to Alex Jones videos or cat memes. Prescient, prescient. Bucking the trend of privacy invasion, a social media site makes waves as a decentralized, forgetful network. Its main selling point, it uses blockchain technology to expire posts and make them forever unreadable. Its IPO does well since it uses blockchain. <laughs> yeah, you can tell it was on my mind at the beginning of the year, right? Holy crap. <laughs> a Russian hacker collective uses a botnet to influence American CEOs. After hearing this, the CEOs start to realize that they're really just human beings in fancy suits. Yeah, no points on that one. CEOs still think they're gods. A whistleblower at Amazon reveals that Echo devices are being used to ultrasonically map your activities. 
This data feeds a marketing algorithm that's used to sell you more laundry detergent, among other things. <laughs> Man, some of these are just awful. <laughs> that actually, you know, that seems uh, totally plausible uh, at this point, uh, day and age. No point on that, though. The channel will gain 20,000 subscribers in 2018 due to a series of videos simply titled Clickbait, Linux, and You. Because I'm nothing if not self-aware, guys. <laughs> uh, I came close. 13,000 subscribers this year. Uh, actually, let's take a look. Yeah. I gained... I actually gained 18,841 and I lost 5,072, which left me at a net of 13,000... 139. Um, actually, I'm really proud of that number, but I can't give myself points for that one. <laughs> Apple uses their proprietary AR technology to have an augmented reality hologram Steve Jobs unveil their new product line. Oh, and one more thing. iPhone X users who attend the event get an exclusive Steve Jobs an emoji for only $4.99. Sadly, they haven't done that. I think that's the only way that uh, Apple's going to recover as a company going into 2019. But uh, no points. All right, the last one. The last one, I'm banking on this. I need at least five, and I'll give myself a bingo. Yeah, I'll just reorganize the how the code's rendering this, and, uh, and then I'll have a bingo, you guys. Microsoft releases a new Windows 10 update that installs software onto existing Linux partitions. This software can break out of a VM environment, and its purpose is simple. It advertises Azure, Office 365, and OneDrive. <laughs> I think that might be my favorite joke of the whole, uh, of the whole lot here. Um, you know, thankfully, Microsoft hasn't done that yet, um, but I, I think that there's a potential for that one to be, uh, to be going on. They did release an update that uh, totally erased people's partitions, um, not just Linux partitions, but Windows partitions too. So uh, we'll see what Microsoft does going forward. They can't seem to get their head out of their ass. But uh, sadly, it looks like I didn't, in fact, get a bingo. And to be honest, I don't know if I've ever really won at this game. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, I've had a blast. I, I think that uh, we're going to do something similar to this again for predictions of for 2019. I hope you guys appreciate this kind of stuff. I, I like to have fun. I like to be silly and goofy. And, uh, you know, if, if that's something that you like, uh, subscribe to the channel. I mean, that's a really a great way to show me that you believe in what I do and that you like the, the things that I'm doing here on the channel. I'm all about having fun and I really want 2019 to be focused on fun, right? I want 2019 to be the year of fun. And uh, I, I, because the 2018 has just been a freaking slog, dude. Um, but yeah, if you believe in the work that I do, you can support the show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon, or you can pick up a t-shirt like this one, uh, open source, supremely awesome edition. Um, but no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, the Linux gamer. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>